Following a consistent set of closing procedures is essential for protecting your store's assets. This means balancing your cash drawers every day or after every shift and running the end of day report, also known as the Z report, at least once a day. First, we'll cover how to balance your cash drawer. Just as you must declare your opening balance at the beginning of the day or shift, you also need to declare the closing balance of the cash drawers at the end of the day or shift. Your POS may have been set up differently than you'll see on my screen, so you may have to navigate to the balance screen another way, but the process will still remain the same in the end. For most of you, you'll find a balance drawer function on the manager menu under tab 3 of your POS. Simply have your cashier count out their drawer and enter in the total amount of cash and any other payment methods to be accounted for. By default, your system is set to allow up to three attempts for the cashier to correctly count their drawer. If the amount they enter is not the expected amount, the POS will prompt them to try again. They should recount their drawer and see if they come up the same amount. Then enter the amount again. Cashiers will not be shown what value is expected. If you do not wish to give the three attempts, this feature may be adjusted in the back office to match your personal preference. If a matching balance cannot be achieved after the last attempt, the drawer will finish the balance procedure with the discrepancies. The differences will be reflected in the balance report so that a manager can look into possible reasons for the difference. A common place to check for issues with the balance is the receipts log in your back office. To find a log of all receipts in your back office, click on the sales menu and scroll down to receipts. If you can't find receipts in your sales menu, click on edit menu entries at the bottom of the list to add receipts to your menu. You can use any of the available filters to help narrow your search. For example, you can narrow your search to receipts from today, receipts that were executed at the particular point of sale in question, or by the cashier whose balance is in question. If you don't wish to allow the default three attempts to balance the cash drawer, you can change the setting in the POS profile. Go to the Settings menu, and then scroll down to POS Profiles, then double-click the profile you wish to change. On the right side, under the section Cashier Rules, you may increase or decrease the number of maximum balance attempts, and then click Save. If you prefer to have cashiers enter in their drawer balance by denomination, there is a setting for this in your back office. Go to the Settings menu and scroll down to find Payment Methods. Under Payment Methods, double-click on the Cash option, and on the right side, check the box next to Denominated Balance, then click Save. At the point of sale, after the cashier counts their drawer, have them enter in the amount of each denomination. Let's say they have counted 5 tens, 8 twenties, and 1 100. They will enter the amount 5 at the keypad and then select the denomination 10. Repeat this process for each denomination, 8, then 20, 1, then 100, until everything has been entered and then they will click accept to complete the balance attempt. Every time a balance is completed, a balance statement is created. Although the balance statement will print out for the cashier, you also have digital copies of all balance statements archived in your back office. You will find a log of all balance statements under the Sales menu. You can also filter a list of statements by organizational unit, cashier, and time frame. And each statement may also be exported in PDF form. Now we'll cover end of day procedures. After the last balance is done for the day, the Z count should be increased. This is done by running the end of day report. To manually run the end of day, go to the manager functions menu under tab 3 at the point of sale and press the finish day or Z report button. The function may be labeled differently at your point of sale. The report will print out and a digital copy will be stored in your back office. End-of-day statements can be found under the sales menu in your back office. You can filter the list of statements by cash register and time frame. 
It's also possible to set your system to run the end of day automatically at a certain time each day, or more commonly, each night. In your back office, under the Settings menu, select POS Profiles and double-click the profile you wish to edit. On the left side, you will find a section of settings labeled POS Settings. Find the setting called Automatic End of Day and check the box. Then you can select the time of day in hour and minutes when the report should be run. It's suggested to choose a time when you will not be running transactions and will have already finished all other closing steps, such as balancing the cash drawers.